All right, guys, it's time to harvest my aloe vera. This is four years aloe vera already. It's been growing so well, and I've been eating it. Because uh, you know what, guys, the aloe vera is good because it has a lot of nutrients and vitamins in it. And one thing that will really help you is to help heal your gut. If you have some gut issues, and this one is a really good one to add in your smoothies. So this is just how to cut it, just slowly. And you can take it like that. So look at, look how big it is already. There you go. This is really huge. Okay. And you can get that. I have three pieces now. Three. And I think I could get this too. Oh, let me check. This should be good. So what I did guys, I just let it sit for a little while so the green sap will be dripping. Look at that. Can you see? It's only little. Okay guys, so this is how we will clean the aloe vera. First you need to take those um, thorny thorns on the sides there you go it's really fun to plant some aloe vera because because you know when it gets big it also flowers so you have to be careful in choosing the aloe vera because there are aloe veras that are not edible i will show you a picture of of an edible aloe vera so it would be like this guys and you can uh, scrape it hold on mm, let me try this should be like that and then i'm gonna peel it All I do is to peel it, the one side, and then and then the rest I'll scrape it with the spoon. I have here I have here and then I will put this in the bottle and put some water and leave it for a few minutes until the green green color is gone until it is very clear okay Can you see that guys perfect gel it is slimy like an okra this is hard to This is a really big, big aloe vera, guys. There you go. Just 
register this. I have here, you can use the distilled water. I'm just washing the aloe vera for now. Take away the green portion. This is just for demonstration. So here guys, the water is pretty clear. You can wash it multiple times until the water is clear. And then what you're gonna do is to keep the aloe vera in the freezer. You can I can I can throw it this one now. There. Still have other aloe vera to cup and clean. So it would be like this guys. It's very slimy. So you can cut this and then and then you can uh, keep it in the freezer bag. It's good to cut it so it would be easy. I like I like it cutting like into half like that. And I I'm, I'm eating like a half of it every day or every time I make my smoothies. Okay guys, so it's like this and it is easier also for you to use it anytime when it is frozen. You just don't uh, make the the aloe vera overlap to each other, so it so it will be easier for you to to take it later on. So what I'm doing is just uh, make it flat like that and freeze it, so it will be uh, separated from each other. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, let me know if you tried the aloe vera. For me, it it works well and uh, hope you give it a try thanks for watching see you in my next video